money as a flow of energy and that in acquiring money or anything else we're not just manipulating material forces in our favor and don't misunderstand i'm not saying that depending on whatever your number is or the thing you're trying to track you don't have to move about the world you do but we're not just manipulating forces in our favor we're attracting we're, and and so when I we talk about money itself, failure to acquire it is an act of repulsion. Because if we're not pulling to, we're pushing away. I mean, there's only two ways to go, essentially. And most of that's unconscious, which we'll get to at the end of the class today. And most of us think we're doing our best to attract while we're actually pushing it away. And those are often the trying, I'm trying so hard. I, you know, I'm doing all the right things. I, you know, I'm a good person, but you know, that is that energy of trying and, um, and feeling like you're failing. That is not an abundant frequency. That is actually a rejection. So in, in that kind of scenario, you have to look at what that trying energy means to you. I know it's funny. I was talking to my uh, my guitar teacher <laughs> this week, and he said something. I know we were playing something, and I said, you know, I really need to try to try to do that more. And he goes, don't try, just do. And I'm like, ah, got me, got me. So there you go. Um, and the ability to understand what truly constitutes needs: our own needs, the needs of others, and the highest good. And this happens, I see this a lot, you know, I have a handful of clients who are, you know, have a lot of resources, but they stress out about money, like, it cracks me up. I'm not laughing at them, but I'm saying, you have so much. So when you, when you have piles and piles of money and, you know, you've got hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in your retirement and you've got properties and multiple cities, and you take a vacation every three months for a week, you're not in need. So you really do have to understand what an actual need is because the universe understands what need is. The energe energy knows what need is and what isn't. And there's nothing wrong with wants, and, but if you're not differentiating what a true need is, then you are uh, sort of um, discombobulating the process. And as we've talked so many times throughout the weeks here, we have to see the highest good for ourselves and others. So, I mean, any of you who are parents or have ever taken care of anything, a plant, <laughs> a child, anything, <clears throat> you always have to think about what's for the greater good of the family or the child that's kind of the, that's the job and if you don't take into consideration what the needs are of the thing you're caring for it may or may not do okay right and it may or may not thrive and most often it won't in some rare instances it does but we always need to think about our choices our contributions our ask how it's affecting the whole and those of you who have embarked on the 30-day manifestation plan, the 30-day plan, the whole process of that is this is the thing I'm trying to make happen. And how do I see how that relates to the betterment of me, to the betterment of my family, to the betterment of my community, to the betterment of my country, to the betterment of my planet, to the betterment of consciousness? So continuing to develop that mindset that shows the interconnectedness 